Well, let's get back to our study of the rocks on this hike. I mentioned a few minutes ago that there was some trap rock in this mountain and um, it was basically ancient lava flows. Well, that particular layer there did not have what I'm finding here. And these could look like crinoid fossils. I spent a lot of my time in the land of limestone, but these are not crinoid fossils. These are air bubbles that it were escaping or trapped in this layer of lava that filled this entire Connecticut Valley. Um, this is a rift valley, and I can explain that in a minute, but let's take a look. We got some bubbles here. Not, now there's a dime there for scale, so these are small bubbles, maybe an eighth to a quarter inch wide, but every rock here on this particular layer on this hike, I'm finding bubbles. Well, they all have them. So this particular layer of lava, when it emerged from the Earth's surface, had some gases trapped in it, and those that did not escape formed little cavities in the rock from where the gas was trapped by the surrounding magma. If anybody's ever seen or been to Hawaii or Iceland or any place else where the Earth's crust is cracked, you will see gas emerging from the lava flows. Steam is often the result of that. So that's what I found here. These are fairly old, uh, in the 200 million year range. And what happened at that time, the Earth's crust had um, formed what's called a supercontinent, where many continents uh, kind of glued together. But eventually the cracks from expansion of that continent or separation of that continent started to cause The Earth's crust is subside in this particular area along Interstate 91. In this valley, if you see where it's dropped down, the wooden block has dropped down because of expansion or sideways movement in the Earth's crust, allowed this middle block to drop down and it filled with sand. This valley filled with sand. It filled with mud and it also filled with magma because as the Earth's crust expanded, there were cracks deep enough for molten rock to come to the surface and fill this valley along Interstate 91 from New Haven, Connecticut, all the way up to the uh, Vermont border near Brattleboro in Massachusetts, Vermont border and through Connecticut as well. So this is, there's many of these ridges in this area with this type of rock. And there's many trails on those ridges. So here's what you can find on some of them. And I'll keep exploring and see what else I can find about this type of rock because it's a very interesting formation. It's fairly unique to this part of New England. There are places in the mid-Atlantic states and even in the Carolinas where you can find this. But it's very well exposed around here. So uh, let's keep hiking up this Fowler Mountain and see what else we can find.